1. There is as a girl. 2. She's not that bad of a person she's in the same guild with me and she's pretty chill so whoever is the girlfriend whether it be Rizzy Devery they were not dating please just leave Riz alone she's just minding her own business. I completely agree, she's a very nice person. To be fair, and as we see in the video, minding your own business is something very distinctly exclusive from accusing someone of zing on purpose, especially in light of the DC was already acknowledged and apologized for. We've seen who wins already in both 1v1 and 2v2 situations regardless. Riza him herself ironically is the one who's been caught abusing the 2v2 system in the past. Rizzy is nice. Riza I haven't talked to in a while, but why keep attacking Riza most in the guild? I mean you can attack Riza but not her whole guild. Mentioning the guild alone can be taken as an attack. Pretty sad you're gonna try to expose Rizzo when everyone knows she is the 2 versus 2 player. Unlike everybody else, I actually met Rizzo a few times in arena and was very nice. SMH, no surprise we would upload a 13 minute video just to salt and bully somebody on them. Good job letting ego get to your head. You're just like me Osama Rolas Donut now, congratulations. You've climbed to the top of the ladder and bam, this is what happens. Slow claps to the person calling out innocent people and getting away with it destroying what reputation they've in this shit filled game. Arrogance at its finest. Because she abused the rank up system in S4 by bringing a lower rank with her into 2v2s, so she would get lower ranked people. Honestly it's pretty crappy, but all it really did was expose COG. It's no better or worse than 11 12 sing all your gear and complaining when someone salts you. Cough. Please take this down already. Literally this so unprovoked. You say that she's so disrespectful, but have you seen other people's salt? It's pretty fucking obvious you're just targeting her. Vaffel, you lag too. Outside of Elsword because I'm pretty sure your entire ego comes from bashing on others. Thanks. Hey look we found one of the Riz's friends, and look it even liked its own comment. How adorable. You seem to claim that he is not a good player, yet ironically the same could be said about yourself. Your methods of pink can be deemed just as dishonorable considering you rely on running and spamming. Compare yourself to Tiffany. In addition to the horrible sportsmanship you display, as proven by the creation of this video. So he spiked a little bit during your match big deal. It wasn't even bad enough to majorly affect the outcome of the match. He also wasn't seen to have huge internet issues in any of the other matches. I'm not setting with Eriza. I still believe his past tactics of curing with low-ranking players is disrespectful. However, this community could really benefit from less salt generated from your videos about Eriza. Yes, someone WHO is voicing their opinion. A few things you're saying here, your first part basically boils down to I don't like the way you play. I think you're wrong, but regardless the issue has never been about how people actually play. Sportsmanship is how you behave when the other person is in an unfortunate situation. So good sportsmanship on Vaf's part was to call it out, apologize, and pause to talk things out which the opponents didn't respond to. Well good sportsmanship on Riz's part would have been to, you know, do anything other than accuse a false DC. The intention of the lag part is just to bring back the point that he's a hypocrite. He accused other people of lagging, but lo and behold here it is on video showing who really lags. The video part, I respect your opinion if you don't like it. But people are free to choose what they watch and come to their own conclusions afterwards. So I would argue the system is already sufficiently self-regulating. You're always free to 1. Stop watching 2. Enjoy the salt 3. Interpret it in a less salty and more neutral way like okay, so this is what happened 4. Just focus on the gameplay This is how the CBSSD matchup works 
This is what PvP from a CBS point of view looks like. When people want to voice their opinions but they get shot down. Nalgy, everyone has a right to say what they want. This isn't anything neutral to begin with, this is all biased information. Also, to clarify what I mean about good sportsmanship. I really don't see how Vuff displayed any good sportsmanship. Yes, he respected the opinion of Rezus GF, but then he follows up by making this video to complain about Rezus again. That really doesn't fit in with the category of good sportsmanship. Like I mentioned before, the idea is that Vaf showed good and sufficient sportsmanship by apologizing and pausing to talk. You can see this at 314. It's like in sports, good sportsmanship is the act of you offering to shake the other person's hand. Nothing comes out of it the other person isn't on the same page, but this doesn't detract from the sportsmanship the better person showed. You can see Riza didn't accept the pause by continuing to attack. Best case it means she's okay with the match continuing as is, 1v2. Worst case it means she's intentionally trying to get an advantage while the opponent has an opening. This is not a big deal, but regardless it means she should have no reason to complain about it after the fact, and god forbid, actually accuse the other team of cheating. Showing good sportsmanship is reasonable up until the moment it's obvious the other person isn't respecting you back. That's all. Somebody else also suggested Vaf should have just disconnected on purpose to forfeit the match. Retrospect is 2020, but that absolutely would have been an option if Riza was willing to stop and reply hey sorry for the DC, but 1v2 really is hard for us, what should we do? At my Akira it's my opinion too and people are always free to respond lol. If you think I'm wrong just say it. Regardless him pausing to talk and shit don't justify this video so you're wrong. The abuse of the overly large Google Blitz though. The amount of freeze time catches from energetic heart too. Not saying Riza is correct, but I can't really blame him for getting a little bit salty there. I mean hiding behind two kugels blabbing blabbing. People defending Vaffle, I see nothing wrong with Riza here. Everyone salts. It seems like if you salt even a little at Vaffle, Vaffle will call you a rude and disrespectful person. Vaffle isn't any better than anyone else. All he does really in all his matches is spam 3 skills. No wonder why Riza was salty. I would have had salt on Vaffle as well. Who wouldn't? Seriously, Vaffle should stop making this video. Being gear carried in a not so nice playing style, you are bound to be salted at one point. Just ignore them. Oh boy, are you wrong or are you wrong? Oh no, sweetheart, that is a strong sign of I haven't explored the rest of CBS's skill tree. I'm gonna ask in the nicest possible way I can think, did you even try using other skills? You're trans so like. You must have. Unless you just decided that the other skills were useless, because CBS is a weak class and any new skill she gets is weak. I'm seriously curious. I saw him on Facebook in a group, I'm not racist, but he's a nigger who is looking for fame and wants to be famous for this thing. Is this drama still going on Emil? Get fucking over it you aren't 5 people have been carrying since season 1 for either AP or rank same fucking diff. Stop acting like a little salty salting cracker. You aren't good at PvP either I'll use the spam kugel, energetic heart and energy needles, with full on flash and all you really do is depend on kugel. CBSFR going EMR all for trash players anyway. This is what we call petty lumpa well, lose salt cancelled out Riz's comment Wait are you making Akira-sama? 
Oh yes? Anisha? Oh yes oh, Lao mind telling me who you are? Confused. Erm greater than W greater than cough, circumflex, X magic fan backs Lao. Awkward act. 